Land Rover was a late bloomer. It took 22 years after the first Land Rover in 1948 for the brand to launch a second model line, the original Range Rover. It took almost another two decades for that car to reach the United States, but well before then the combination of V8 performance, rugged utility, and smart design had set the archetype for the upmarket SUV in other parts of the world. These days Range Rover has become a brand in its own right, and the source of most of Jaguar Land Rover's profits. Which is why new members of the clan keep turning up, first was the Range Rover Sport, then the Baby Evoque, and now the Vila, which splits the difference. It sits on the same aluminium architecture that underpins the Jaguar F-Pace, but it looks just as sleek, a fact that's reflected in the prices charged for it. Although the 180 horsepower engine is available in Europe, it is restricted to the base Vila and Vila S, so our plush HSE example instead was packing the more powerful version of the same power plant. It adds a second turbocharger to boost output to 238 horsepower, making this Vila considerably quicker, its factory claimed 6.8 seconds 0 to 60 mile per hour time is 1.6 seconds under that quoted for the 180 horsepower version. On the basis of our experience with the 180 horsepower diesel when we tested the Jaguar X20D, we can safely predict that the US spec Vila diesel won't be a rocket ship. Yet we can confirm that the idea of a compression ignition Vila is not a bad one. The combination of high torque at low engine speeds works particularly well with the car's relaxed dynamic demeanor, and under everyday use the diesel feels pretty much as effortless as its brawnier gasoline siblings. While the sequentially turbocharged engine we sampled has a higher peak of 368 pounds to foot of torque, the single turbo US spec diesel still produces an entirely respectable 317 pounds to foot from just 1500 revolutions per minute, considerably more than the standard turbocharged 2.0 litre gasoline 4 cylinders 269 pounds to foot and just shy of the available supercharged 3.0 litre V6 S332 pounds to foot.